Hi, yeah, happy January and welcome to my first monthly vlog or whatever this is. I still haven't decided what I'm calling it. I no longer want to call these studio vlogs because I want to implement more writing talk into them as well as art, which I'm still going to be doing. I haven't been super happy with the way that I've been doing YouTube stuff this past year because I've been focusing so much on making draw with me videos because they're the easiest type of video to edit. But then all of my attention each week goes into producing some form of finished looking artwork. And I feel like that's just been making me stagnate a bit too much. I haven't found the time to focus as much on studying art. So I thought making the switch to a more blog based approach would be a good way to go around that. Since I can share the process of getting better with you and then the focus of these videos can be on the learning and not on the making something finished looking and I can get better much faster. So as a part of this, but also this is my New Year's resolution anyway, I'm hoping to spend half an hour each day on something that will get me to be better at art and hopefully change it to a different exercise each month. So for January, I have chosen figure drawing, which is something that I have tried to build up a habit of doing in the past and never been very good at, never really enjoyed for more than a day or two because I just get upset with it. I have definitely really stagnated when it comes to drawing people. I always focus on portraits and I always say that I'm gonna try and draw full bodies and then I don't. So I want to try and do that every day this month. When I say every day, I mean nearly every day. I'm gonna be very flexible with that because I am also starting a new job in two days. So the first thing that I'd like to do today is I want to do a little before and after comparison. Also, I haven't set up my bullet journal for January yet, so we're gonna be doing that too. I chose two reference images from that Sketch Daily website that I've been using, one with a very static pose and one with a more difficult dynamic pose. And I left some space next to each of these, which I will be filling out in a month. I really wasn't very happy with how these turned out. I can see that there's problems with them and that the anatomy isn't right and that they look really stiff. I just don't know how to fix it. So in the end, I ended up reminding myself that this is supposed to be the before picture of the before and after. So to just let it be, do my best, and this is what I ended up with. Tuesday. I'm talking really really fast because I'm currently in between songs of my neighbor's very loud sound system and I want to get all the words out before I turn it all again. Um, yes, words. Okay, so I've been doing my figure drawings, um, very terrible embarrassing figure drawings for a couple of days now and I've been finding that I don't think this method is working for me. I've been using the Sketch Daily website and I'm using the classroom mode. So I have a whole bunch of 30 second drawings followed by one minute, five minutes, and then 10 minutes. Now the 30 second and one minute drawings are just far too fast for me. And I think at this point, what I'm actually doing rather than learning figure drawing is just reinforcing my bad habits by trying to do it faster than I'm comfortable with. Also, I feel like I don't actually know what I'm doing. So what I want to do today is I'm gonna go and learn how to actually do figure drawings and just sort of look at the theory of it and see if I can like work it out a little bit. Cause I think the way that I'm doing this now is just not very effective. <laughs> just finished going through a couple of lessons and taking some notes and I had another attempt at the really quick sketches. Now what I've been doing is instead of setting a 30 second timer and then stressing out because I don't have enough time, I'm setting five minute timers but I'm still keeping the sketch level to what I would do in 30 seconds. I don't think you can really tell the difference very much with these compared to like day one, eh, maybe a little bit, but I think I'm getting more out of it, like I'm learning better by doing it slower, so I'm sticking with that. I did cheat and do a little bit extra than half an hour, but chances are I'm probably not going to be doing any tomorrow, so that's fine. Tomorrow's going to be a bit of an interesting day, I have three things happening, 
The first one is the first day of the national lockdown. Second thing is I'm starting my new job. And the third thing is it's gonna be the first time in like two and a half weeks that I leave the house. So I'm a little bit stressed. Didn't you say you were gonna be at work today? Yes, I think I remember saying I was gonna be at work today. Hello, welcome to not my first day of work. I'm probably starting next week. This leaves me in a bit of an interesting situation because I now have an extra three days of free time that I wasn't planning on having and my priority for January is to take time off and not burn out. So I don't know how to feel this three days now because I haven't planned ahead and I'm so used to just like deciding what I'm gonna do in a day from like a week ahead of time and it feels so strange that I don't know what I'm doing. I've already done my morning writing session that I normally do but I thought it would be fun to extend that and do a longer writing session, because I can. And I've sort of been writing less and less lately because I've been really stuck with the current part. And I think part of the reason for that is because it's the first time that I'm writing this part. The writing project that I'm working on now is technically a third draft, even though it's my first time writing this version of the book. But I have written a similar story before. But the current part that I'm writing is completely new and was added in the outline because I'm actually outlining now. And I'm just trying to have like this really polished version of it because that's what I've been doing with all the previous chapters that I have written multiple times before. And it's just driving me insane. Like it's taking me an hour to write a paragraph and it's really not working. So I'm thinking what might be a good idea is if I just write this entire part, like just speed through all 15 chapters in a day maybe two days and then just like scratch all of it and then rewrite it properly hi yeah happy wednesday i've just finished my daily figure drawing session for the day and what I've been trying to do today was sort of follow along on progress videos. So I'm drawing the figure first based on the model and then I'm letting the video play and mimicking each of Proko's movements line by line so that I can figure out how he does it and then hopefully get better at this. So just a couple of notes based on this little first attempt. I think that my main problem at the minute is that I'm focusing too much on getting the contour of the form rather than the actual gesture. I do okay with finding the sort of like pinch side on this side and the curve on this end, so like I do know what to look for, but I focus too much on trying to get the anatomy, which I'm not actually doing very well anyway. So for example for the legs, like when I was trying to do it just based off the model, like I've got this detail for the knee and like I'm just focusing on the outlines whereas in the tutorial video he's just sort of like finding a single line that goes all the way down and defines the movement of the leg so that's something that I need to work on. Other than that I realized I haven't actually done any art that wasn't figure drawing in like a week so I am going to go open my sketchbook and spend some time in there. Friday. First of all, I am aware that it's the 8th of January today and I promise I will remove the Christmas tree soon. I don't want to remove the Christmas tree, it's still Christmas inside my head. So I just wanted to give you a quick writing update. Last night I was going through that part that I've been stuck on that I've mentioned. I still finished the storyline for one of the characters and I think I figured out why I've been having so many problems with it. I did outline this bit in advance. But because I'd never written it before, I wasn't sure how much each part was going to take. So for this particular character, I knew that I wanted to have two chapters with a cliffhanger in between. But when I tried to write that, the time between the start of the scene and the cliffhanger was so short that I tried to force that outline onto the chapter and as a result it just became really boring because I should have written that scene in two paragraphs but I tried to make it chapter length and it just wasn't working. So I am cutting that chapter altogether 
I'm using the first paragraph and I'm using the final paragraph and everything else is leaving. Which I think is gonna work a lot better, but also does get rid of that cliffhanger. But the cliffhanger wasn't working, so it's okay. On top of that, there were also some problems with the second chapter, because I'm not very good at writing battles, as it turns out. I haven't really done much of it before. So Matt gave me a whole bunch of pointers on what wasn't working, and I am going to be rewriting that from scratch today. Which I'm super excited to do, because I wrote up all of these notes on these changes that I wanted to do, and then I got an email, and then three hours later I went to bed and I didn't actually get to do any of the writing. Happy Tuesday! I've been holding off from chatting with you for a little while because I don't want this vlog to be three hours long. I've been working on that chapter I mentioned last time and I just managed to finish that today, so I think my average writing speed for that chapter is like 20 words per hour, but we got there in the end. I'm definitely very glad that I decided to do one chapter instead of two chapters because it's a very short chapter, even the combined version of this. I will probably need to pad up some descriptions and like fix it a little bit, but in its current form it's like 800 words. But it's like good enough for first draft, finally. I've also been continuing to work on my figure drawing and I tried the classroom mode approach again yesterday and I found it really different from when I was doing this at the start of the month. Originally the 30 second and one minute poses were super stressful and I could not do them at all. I seem to have gotten used to doing them very fast. They're still not good, but I can do the full figure in 30 seconds. Whereas when I get to the five minute and 10 minute ones, I just don't know what to do with all that time. But the good news is that I'm actually enjoying this. I think this is the first time I've ever enjoyed figure drawing. So I'm very happy about that. Other than that, I haven't been up to much. Tomorrow is my first day of work, hopefully again <laughs> so i'm kind of nervous about that and the thing is you know when you're really stressed about something and the waiting for it is sort of what stresses you out even though you know that when you actually do it it's gonna be fine i've basically had that three times now the other news is i finally have this up and running i got this as a christmas gift from my boyfriend because he wanted me to stop using his but i was still using his until like yesterday because i was reading a book that i purchased on his so I didn't want to use mine, although apparently you can think libraries, which I wasn't aware of. So now I've got this and I start a new book, which also means that I'm gonna fill in one of these out today and stick it into my bullet journal. Happy Saturday! I think I may have slightly overestimated my ability to get stuff done after work on my first week. I think in the past three days I've had more social interaction than in the past 10 months combined. So I think that's why I'm so tired. I have forgotten how to talk to people and it turns out humans are exhausting. On Thursday I did manage to bring myself to do some painting because I realized that I was too tired to do anything on my to-do list but I wasn't too tired to do random other stuff. And I decided to do a reference study of a human because that would be something that complements the figure drawing practice quite well. And I found this really fun and enjoyable. I have tried drawing people before and I normally find it infuriating and exhausting and just not fun at all. And this was really fun. And I don't think the figure drawing has made me better as such in terms of skill level yet but it has made it more enjoyable to draw people, so I think that fact alone makes it absolutely worth it.
it's snowing outside. I wanna go out and play, but it's only just started, so maybe later if there's like more than a millimeter. Look at all the snow. I'm so happy. <laughs> Stop looking at the snow. I do realize that last week was my first week doing Monday to Friday, but at the minute it's not just that I can't get myself to write, I can't get myself to stay awake after 8 pm. I still have been not just in bed but like completely and deeply asleep before 8 pm on at least three of the five weekdays and what that means is on days that I'm in the office I basically get zero hours to do anything because I need to commute and then I need to disinfect everything and make dinner and then it's 8 p.m and I'm sort of just collapsed and on days that I'm not in the office I've been prioritizing figure drawing which I've managed to do on three days this week. I was feeling kind of happy with just writing on the weekends last week because I hadn't written for three days straight that when Saturday and Sunday came along I was so excited to write again and I spent a really long amount of time on each of those days writing comparatively to if I just write for half an hour every day. So I thought that had gone very well. But then I spent the entire weekend on just the one chapter, which is, you know, okay, that's my normal writing rate for difficult chapters, which this one is. But then this weekend, the plan was to just sort of read through what I'd done last week and then move on to a different chapter. And that didn't happen. But because I hadn't touched this chapter for a week now, all of the issues with it, which some of which I had written notes on to fix in the edit anyway, but they were just glaring me in the face and I just had to fix them. And I do feel like now it's at the point where there's still issues with it, but most of the issues remaining are just line edits. So I should be able to move on to the next chapter without anything that I'm going to change influencing the story. But I said the same thing last week. So basically, while I'm really enjoying writing longer sessions as a treat on the weekends and for now not writing during the week, if I keep revisiting previous chapters, that's not gonna work. So I'm hoping if I start working on a different chapter today, and even if I just do like a little bit on that, then when I come back in next week, I can revisit this chapter and I don't need to reread the previous one and that way I can not edit the previous one. happy sunday it is the 31st of january today and i have just finished the final one of these notebooks i'm very proud of how i timed that i'm not gonna lie so to celebrate this accomplishment i thought it'd be fun to tell you a story specifically the story of why do i own these very strange looking notebooks when i was at uni we had to do this strange group project leadership course type thing where we had to compete against other groups and make as many notebooks as we physically could. Now my team thought this was an incredible waste of paper, so we did as few notebooks as we can get away with, which was four of them. I think the team that won made 26 notebooks and they got thrown out afterwards and it made me so mad. But I got to keep the four notebooks, no one else in my team wanted them, and I said at the time that I was going to use them to teach myself figure drawing. This was three years ago. 
The fact that it's the final day in January also means that it's time to do the after sketch in my before and after comparison, which I'm a little bit nervous about because I'm not sure I've improved as much as I wanted to improve, but let's give it a try. Here we have the results of that experiment. I'm not actually sure which one I like better. I think the new ones are like slightly better, a little bit, maybe, but I can't actually tell. Line quality might be slightly worse, which is partially because I was using a different pen. But yeah, most people I've asked seem to think the new ones are better, so I'm gonna go with that for my own peace of mind that I have in fact gotten better and not worse. Either way, I think it was a really fun experiment. I don't think I got quite as much out of it as I was hoping for, partially because of the new job and like not really being able to put my full attention on it. So I'm thinking I might revisit this later in the year once I am more settled into the new routine and that sort of thing. But for now, I'm gonna move on to a new challenge tomorrow, which you will hear about in the next vlog. I also wanted to give you a quick writing update because I was working on my novel again yesterday and I got another chapter done that's like almost there, but I wanna make some more changes to it as usual because apparently it takes me two weeks to write a chapter now. Overall, I've basically been working on this battle scene for the entirety of January, but of course that is four different characters who have their own parts of the battle in different locations so i don't know how many chapters i did i'll check and add like a thing i feel like i should start tracking my word counts because it's a lot easier to share my stats with you if i'm actually tracking my words but at the same time i don't like tracking my words so i'm not going to also after doing a bunch of the editing i realized that i've talked far less about writing than i thought i had been talking about writing so i'm hoping to talk more about it next month as I do things. Overall, I think I'm really enjoying this monthly blogging experiment thing and I will try doing it again next month, which I think will be more of a test run for it now that I'll be working for the whole month and not just the second half of the month, which will also probably make for a much shorter video. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's everything from me for now. So I hope that you have a fantastic day and a fantastic week and I will see you soon. Bye.